Hey y'all, so welcome or welcome back to my channel. Um, I decided to do like a vlog today so I can keep the momentum going of being consistent. Y'all, I'm at the doctor's office for my 35 week appointment. I have an ultrasound today, which I'm very excited about. So I, was, I told y'all in my last vlog that I was gonna bring y'all with me. Y'all stopped at McDonald's. I stopped at McDonald's and got me a Happy Meal. And when I tell y'all, it is so freaking disgusting. It's so disgusting. Like, look at this. I'm forcing myself to eat it because I didn't eat nothing this morning. And it's almost 12 o'clock. So, I literally got like four minutes to chug these down. I'm going to say two minutes. Because I got to walk my fat ass up to the front door. But yeah, I just want to come up here and do an intro. I have a couple stores to go to after I leave here. Because I have a cervical check today. Um, This is like the farthest that I ever made it through any of my pregnancies. Well, I want to say we're free. I was 35 in like a couple days. But she started my cervical checks this week, I think. Hopefully not. I'm not, you know bias to it because like i know i'm dilating already because i've been having like contractions on and off for like the last few days or whatever so i'm gonna get checked today um i gotta go get the rest of the stuff in my hospital bag so i have to go to ross i want to go to once upon a child as well um just to see like what stuff they have i don't really need nothing i just want to get like maybe some like like little nike outfits or something i don't know y'all like honestly i just don't know my husband just ordered like a whole bunch of stuff off of my registry my Amazon registry. I was thinking about doing the Target registry because somebody told me that Target got more stuff. Um, the Amazon does not have, which I highly doubt it. Amazon has everything, but I have to go to Ross. Um, one of the nursing bras that I bought, I didn't pay attention to the size. I got the wrong size, and plus my husband bought me four nursing bras off of my registry, so I kind of don't need that one no more. So I'm just gonna swap that out for something else. Um, yeah, so I got stuff to get for my for my hospital bag. I probably go to Dollar Tree too, but I want to go to Dollar Tree by my house because I like that one better. And yeah, so y'all just gonna spend a day with me. Hurry up, make a whole bunch of stops. I want to be home before two o'clock. And it's well, I'm gonna say three o'clock, two thirty, three o'clock, because my husband just got off of work this morning, so I don't want to be too inconsiderate. But I know he got to go to work tomorrow. He told me to make sure I get everything I need to get today. So, yeah. Y'all about to call me. We about to go do this ultrasound. And, yeah. I'm going to check back in with y'all when I get into the actual ultrasound room or whatever. Because I don't like recording people in the reading room. Because it's just weird. But, yeah. So. Yeah, I'm popping my phone. But I have my ultrasound. And basically, I couldn't record in there. So, we are now in my doctor's office uh, doing a circle check and I think she's gonna do a group B shrimp I think that's what it's called I don't know y'all but they got this paper on the counter and then this tube with this thing I don't know who she thinks she about to touch with this paper they ain't about to be in but I'm gonna give y'all an update um whenever I get back to the car on everything that happened um, I probably had to go back to ultrasound after this because they weren't able to get a lot of the measurements and then they want to check the fetal movement. Um, they were basically like an ultrasound and he's running out of room. And I am measuring a week and a couple days ahead. So I'm going to check back with y'all whenever. All right, y'all. So I came once upon a child and um, I'm going to just show y'all the stuff like what they got. It's like onesies. You can get like 10 of them for $10. They have some clearance stuff. Um, I'm vlogging a lot for TikTok, so not really here. They have a ton of body suits, which I'm gonna look through these to see if they have like some new gap ones that I could probably get. And then I'm gonna show y'all pretty much whenever I pick up stuff like what I picked up. Try not to step on a lot. And then I'm gonna give y'all an update from the doctor once I get in the car. So just stay tuned. Okay, y'all. So 
as y'all can tell i'm back home i didn't record much when i was in when i was in once upon a child because it was just junky and i didn't have my tripod with me it was just me holding my hand and you know you gotta use two hands whenever you're at once upon a child so but i did find some good stuff i'm gonna show that to y'all i'm also so update so if y'all hear free that's free running around she just got new sandals and she wanted him clap whenever she run y'all literally keep starting stopping starting stopping okay so update so i'm one and a half centimeter dilated my baby is measuring a week and one day ahead so it's like he's measuring 36 weeks in a day which who does that like the lady's like basically like your baby don't have no more room and she checked me she said well you can go you, you can go in tonight you can go in a few days you can go in a week like it just depends on you so she told me like you know if i want to start walking i can um because my baby is measuring almost seven pounds which is this is like the biggest baby that i've ever had so yeah but i didn't record when i went to ross i also went to ross so follow me on tiktok to see you know the stuff that i had picked up from ross because that's gonna be on there um so i got my pajamas and stuff like that my slippers i just gotta get hygienic stuff whenever my husband comes back from the him and junior went to the um get some parts for his bike i think and get some food so when he comes back if i feel rejuvenated i'm gonna go get hygiene stuff and i'm gonna take y'all with me and that's probably gonna be the end of this vlog i wanted to show y'all everything that's been coming in from my register i was gonna wait till everything come in but like as i do videos and since i gotta start nesting now i'm gonna start actually just showing y'all the stuff now um i had got an ultrasound done and he would not cooperate so this is all that i had got from the ultrasound so um this is gonna be like another unboxing so this is one gift that i got off of my registry which i just put the scissors back so yeah basically like whenever i left the doctor's office i had went to um two stores and i'm starting to feel it like i'm starting to feel the pain okay y'all so i went to the store and i walked around and i got my pajamas and stuff like that and then i got some more baby stuff and i feel like that has pushed him down further like the legs like his head is like all the way down to the bottom he's so big that his butt is at the top of my stomach and his feet is in my ribs who does that like why are you like this you like you don't care about nobody but this is my first gift from my amazon store this is from my friend ayari thank you beautiful she was like the first person that bought something off my registry and it came like the next day so she got us this baby camera i'm gonna let my husband play with this child because god knows i only got this i only wanted a camera because if y'all don't know free um junior is going to school this year and free is going to be home with me and the baby and if i have to be if i have to be in the front and or in the bathroom or whatever i want a camera on him just because free is wild and she'll probably pick the baby up and try to bring it to you but this is what it looks like i'm gonna unbox it for y'all so it's like a 360 camera it rotates all the way around and it has a monitor i think you can also connect it to your phone i think that's the one and this has sound and this has sound and vision so i'll be able to hear him when he cry or whatever the case is so this is also good for when he transitions to the room into his own room i just thought it was you know good and this is like the little monitor that it came with which i'm so thankful for that so thank you yari for the gift babes i cannot wait to drop because she said she's gonna take me out and baby i'm gonna go too because i'm tired okay so that's one gift i'm gonna make sure i put everything back in the box so my husband can have like all the instructions it is this big um and my mother-in-law dropped this off today so this is not even all of the stuff because she hasn't been home oh this is from who's this from i ain't got no receipt let me see i can look on my registry and see who bought what because a lot of people put their names on um what they actual actually bought 
let's see you just go to the thank you part of the registry oh this is from Keandra my name is Keandra who went to school with me she bought me this and then she also gave me a ten dollar um she gave me a ten dollar gift card that bought his diaper bag so to in total she bought three things so she bought him his first book and i used to like this book whenever i was growing up so she bought him his first book and then she got him a humidifier um baby let me tell you if you have kids you know how essential this is like if you having a baby Please make sure you get a humidifier. I got a smaller one just because um, his room is small. I'm not going to say his room is small, but his room isn't as big as ours. And also, I just think this is great to like put like right next to his bassinet or his bed so that he can, um, you know, get what he's supposed to get out of it. But y'all, I had one with Faith. I think somebody bought me one with Faith. And we had it all the way up until I think Junior and when we moved it broke so when whenever we moved here we didn't have one for free and y'all they were so hard to find because i had free during covid so we didn't we didn't actually have one for when i had free so next moving on um i bought my own hospital bag in which i don't know if i want to keep this this came off my registry too um, nobody didn't get it, so I had ended up getting it for myself. But I had got this hospital bag, and my husband's like, I got a Nike bag that I that you bought me that I rarely use. You could just use the Nike bag. So I don't know if I'm gonna keep this or not, but y'all, this is only like $18. And it's like a I might keep it because once I start going to the gym, I'm gonna need a bag anyways. So it's like a little gym bag. So you know, I'm gonna see if everything doesn't fit. His bag is like a little bit bigger than mine. I might just release this back and get something else. But it's like a, you see, it's like a gym bag. And this is how big it is. And it has scraps that you can like carry it, which I thought that was like really cool. And then the bottom, I mean, not the bottom, the side, you could like unzip it and put your shoes and stuff in. So we're going to see how much stuff I actually have to put in my hospital bag to determine if I want to keep this or not. But that was also on Amazon. And then Keandra, um gift card. With her gift card, I had bought him this diaper bag, which uh, it was, I had to pay a difference of like 7 or $8. It wasn't that much. I think the bag was like 20 something dollars. And then I had the 15% off, you know, when you do your registry on Amazon, they give you like a little coupon or whatever. So I got him this black bag with these brown leather things, which I thought that was so cute. Um, it has, it's really a book bag, but you can use it as a diaper bag and I'm gonna show y'all why. You put your phone right here, which is really cute. The side still has the little slit. Like if you have a book sack diaper bag thing, you know, like it comes like, so you put the wipes right there so you could just take the wipes out right here. It has another side, so if you want to put like a bottle right here, you can. It has a lot of storage. It's very good quality. So when you open this part, it also has more slots that you can put bottles in, like right here. And then above it, it's a zipper part that you can put stuff in as well. The inside is so deep, y'all. Um, and then it also came with this little pouch that you can like put medicine and like you can put his medicine and hygiene stuff in here as well if you don't want to carry like those big pouches that you know first aid kits come in you can fit it in here so i thought that was really good and this is how it looks it has extra pouches so it didn't come with a changing pad because like i told y'all it was it's actually a book bag because as you can see it has like a usb thing and on the inside it has the usb cords and i think i just threw it in here yeah it came with like the little usb cards as y'all can see and i'm a this is going to be linked in my amazon storefront and my amazon registry so if y'all looking for a cute diaper bag this is a cute diaper bag that you can get off amazon which i thought was really great so like i said i'm gonna link this down below for y'all um more stuff that we got from our well we, this didn't come from our registry 
Um, my mother-in-law's best friend, y'all, she always buy me a ton of stuff. So she got him some clothes from six months all the way to a year. So my mother-in-law bought zero to six, and she bought six to a year. Girl, they be coordinating, girl. I'm not gonna open the outfits because I want to keep them in the plastic till I hang them up. But she bought like stuff like, like this. Um, like little nine month outfits. She bought like a ton of Carter's two pieces, which they all are still in the bag. Like little two pieces. I might do an unboxing on TikTok of these later, whenever I'm putting his little stuff together, his dresser. Um, yeah, this is like six months. They say something about daddy. Good deal. And then we also got like another three piece set that's six months. Which is so cute. So thank you, Miss Kim, so much for my gifts, girl. You always do your duty bop when it comes to my kids. So that's like they second grandma, y'all. Real life. Like it's literally like they second grandma. Um, what else I did that I that I got that y'all didn't see? Alright, y'all. So um I also got this belly band that came in the mail for my insurance. So I'm gonna actually probably start using this today. And I got this in a size large, and the large is a 14, 18, and pants. So hopefully I can fit this. Y'all, excuse my rude daughter in the background. And y'all, I returned that nursing bra that I, that I could not fit from Ross. And I got me some pajamas for the hospital. This Juicy Couture nightgown. I wanted a nightgown this time instead of trying to do a two-piece or whatever. And then I'm going to get my husband to give me some socks. But... I had got this nightgown with these slippers to match because if I go into labor like between today and the end of this week or next week, I know I ain't gonna be able to go get no pedicures. So I ended up just getting some closed toe slippers and these were only $7.99. This gown was only $10. So I just thought that was really cute. Um, So that goes together. And then my mother-in-law bought me a Nike outfit to come home in and I have a Nike outfit to actually go to the hospital in. Which is 100% good. So, we're covered all around. We just need hygienic stuff at this point. Okay, so from Once Upon a Child, this is what I got. So, I bought... I didn't even see that tag on there. So, I bought these mittens, which... At first, I wasn't going to buy mittens, but they were only like a dollar fifty a pack. So, I was like, why not? And plus, I already got all of the onesies that go with these. So these are like 150 for a three pack. So I ended up getting these from Once Upon a Child, which I feel like that was a great deal because I think these are like nine dollars at the store, or seven dollars at the store. So I ended up getting these anyway, even though his hands probably be too big for it. Um, they also had these blankets, y'all. Why did Once Upon a Child have um, formula? I don't think that they could say they had like the huge cans of formula for only like $14. And I'm like, I wish I knew if my baby was, you know, would use that formula whenever he get the breast milk, but I didn't know. So I didn't want to waste my money on that. And trying to resell formula is just it's just too much. So I left it there. So but if y'all if y'all ever go to one sponge on Baton Rouge and you're looking for formula, go go there for sure. Um, cause I thought that was pretty cheap, but I got these blankets and I had 20% off. So I used my 20% off again and then I had 20% off again whenever I go back to the store. But yeah, I bought these blankets. They are brand new in the pack and I was looking for these cause I wanted the camo one. They had the dinosaur one and this was $5.50 and then I had 20% off as well, which that was really great. Um, the outfits that I got, I didn't get like a lot of outfits. I got this for whenever he comes out. Which I thought this was so cute. It's like a little animal thing and you tie it at the bottom. Just so that, you know, I can like take pictures of him. I want like um, a board that has like his name. That I can put like his name, put his weight. I might go to Walmart later and see if they have it. And then it also came with this hat. Um, that matches with it. So you tie the top of the hat and put the hat on him. So this is like all of the prints that's actually in the actual gown. Okay, y'all. Free just trying to get the camera so bad. But this was $6.50. And like I said, I had 20% off. So I'm going to wash this and put this in his hospital bag. So on my next video, probably after I'll take a bath and all that tonight, I'm going to pack my hospital bags. 
I found this cute Gap denim onesie, which is like zero to three months. Y'all, it is so cute. And it was only $6.50. And like I said, I had 20% off too. So I got him this for like, you know, if we go to church or if we go out to eat or something while the kids at school, I got him this. Zero to three month. Um, I got him a coming home. I think I'm going to let him wear this to come home. It is so cute. It is like a little newborn plaid little outfit. I wanted to find him some like little sandals to go with it. But sometimes it be itching me that people be putting them big old shoes on babies. So he got some like cute fuzzy socks that I might let him wear with this. So this is really cute. Um, this is like $4.50. And the Carter's tag is still on here. Like... The Carter's tag is literally still on here. So I paid $4.54 for like the whole little two-piece set, which is so cute. Then I just got like a few onesies or whatever. So I have like this because his dad loves the barbecue. So I bought him this little onesie. Um, and this company that made this is Love Your Onesies brand. Um, it's by Gerber as well. And these were only like $3 and they're brand new. As you can see, it still has like the, the tag the original tag on there so this one was three dollars i also got this one by the same brand and it was three dollars as well and as y'all can see it still has the tag on there so this is brand new this is like the little lions y'all know we love lions over here um i got him this sesame street one which is really really cute um so this one was like three dollars as well it was brand new too. The tag must have fell in. Yeah, the tag in here somewhere. The tag in here somewhere, y'all. So this is a Sesame Street one, and this one's a zero to three months. Y'all, I thought this was so cute. Um, I love anything that has feet in it. Like, if it, if it doesn't have feet in it, like, if it's made like this, I like it, but to be in the house, like, that's from the last haul that I did, y'all. And then I found him this newborn onesie with the crawfish. We're from Louisiana. Well, I love crawfish. My husband don't really care for them. Like, that's just what it is. So, I bought him this. And this one was $3.50. Brand new from Carter's as well. It's like a little crawfish all on the back. And it snaps at the bottom. And then I got his little blue socks and his blue hat to go with that. Um, I, already, I already had a hot hat and the socks. And then I found him this Ralph Lauren um, one onesie, which was $10.50. And it was three, zero to three months as well. This is so pretty. I love the orange and the blue. Like the light blue. I don't know if y'all can really see it on camera. But the horses right here is like a navy blue. So I'm putting some like, you know, little cute little socks to match with it. Which, you know, that's just that. So that's pretty much everything that I got today. Um, So right now I'm about to start nesting. Technically nesting. So I will, I don't know, should I include that in this video? Or should I just leave leave it out? Like, I don't know. But yeah, so what I'm about to do now is I'm about to take the tags off of all of this so that I can wash it whenever my husband comes back with the little detergent or whatever. So I'm about to wash out his stuff and then I'm going to start packing my bag while his stuff is actually washing. But then I have to clean up too. So girl, I don't know what's going to be transpiring in this video, but... Y'all make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe just in case this is the end of the video and I don't continue further because I know y'all, I talk a lot in front of the camera. I don't really be doing much, but no. So whenever we go to the dollar store, y'all gonna come with me. So y'all just stay tuned, keep watching the video, and then I'm gonna see y'all whenever we go to the store. I made it to Dollar Tree. It's late. I was so busy, like, washing clothes and stuff. So I decided um, I might get shower shoes from the Dollar Tree, but let me show y'all the shoes that they have. So it's like a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of flip-flops. So this is like the kids section and then it goes into the adult section. Um, I was thinking about just getting these. Cause these are like the cutest ones. Or maybe just like some solid color ones. I'm not sure. Oh, I might get these. These are cute. Let's see. Girl, I'm a purse not in that. They got my size. Yeah, they got my size. Which I feel like I probably just need to get the 9, 10. 
Cause the seven eight probably gonna be. It's probably gonna be too small. Yeah, I'm gonna just get this. Get this nine ten and the hot pink ones. So that's one thing off the list. Yeah, they got like a wide selection. So if you need shower shoes, go to Dollar Tree. Literally have oh pretty much everything. Like they have these disposable adult underpads, which would be good for like when you come home and you don't want you know the stuff to get in your bed, which is this is good. Um they have hand sanitizers, which I think I'm gonna get one of these. Um, then they have like end caps of everything travel size so if you need anything travel size shampoo hand sanitizer lotions um stuff like this pretty much everything or you can buy this little shower travel kit which is cute too but I'm gonna show y'all what I got once I pick up every single thing. So I'm gonna get some of these too. So I'm gonna show y'all everything in just a second. So, hey y'all. So I am now editing my 35 week update and unboxing video, but I noticed that I did not close the video out. Let me tell y'all why. So basically after I left the dollar store, I went and picked up food and stuff like that. When I got home, it was like super duper late. So I actually forgot to record what I got to put in my hospital bag, but I did pack my bag that night or that morning. No, I did not pack my bag, but I had everything to put in my bag. But I did do like a unboxing or whatever I got from Dollar Tree for labor and delivery on TikTok. So if you're not following me on TikTok, make sure that you follow this name right here and go follow me on TikTok. Plus, my Instagram feed needs to like, I need to run my numbers up on Instagram because I've been stuck at a thousand for like two years now and I really don't appreciate that Instagram, but I'm gonna talk to y'all about that, but on another day. So basically y'all, I went to labor 48 hours after I went to the doctor and got checked and I did vlog my labor and delivery. So make sure you guys are subscribed and you have on your notification bell so that you don't miss when I upload my labor delivery vlog. But basically, yeah, so right after I left the Dollar Tree, I went home. I had everything that I needed. I sorted everything out. And literally 48 hours later, I went into labor with my son. And my labor and delivery was, y'all gonna see when it come out. I'm not even gonna get y'all the specifics on what exactly happened, but y'all gonna see when it come out. But yeah, so I just came on here to close out this vlog to let you guys um know that you know i really care because i'm closing out a vlog like i didn't just put thanks for watching across the screen but i just want to let you guys know uh, i want to thank y'all so much for watching to this part of the video make sure you subscribe and make sure you turn on the not notification bell so that you don't miss the upcoming videos and i'll see you guys in the next vlog vlog bye